sometime this month. An upstate congressman with a lengthy resume will become New York's next lieutenant governor. Antonio Delgado also wants to be Kathy Hochul's running mate when she runs for her own four-year term as governor. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer has the story. There was an obvious height difference when Kathy Hochul introduced her new lieutenant governor, Congressman Antonio Delgado, who played semi-pro basketball in Puerto Rico. I look forward to getting a few pointers uh, to play some hoops together. It was a lighthearted moment, Hochul hoping that selecting Delgado would finally allow her to write her campaign and get out from under the crushing blow to her young administration that came with the indictment of her first lieutenant governor, Brian Benjamin. Delgado, who was born in Schenectady and represents the Hudson Valley and the Catskills in Congress, quick to point out that being an upstater won't affect his voter appeal. Upstate, downstate, it does not matter. We all want the same thing, security, family, opportunity. A former Rhodes Scholar, Colgate and Harvard Law graduate, Delgado's family is ethnically mixed. He brings diversity to the ticket, can appeal to voters in many communities. I am African American and I am Cape Verdean, Afro-Latino. My wife is, is black and Jewish. Our children were, were raising uh, Jewish. And so, you know, all these different entry points um, connect to me and just really help me to figure out how uh, to go in and out of communities. No, I'm not a pretty boy, not from the city, but I still make city noise. He also had a short-lived career as a rapper known as A.D. The Voice. When he ran for Congress in 2018, Republicans tried to brand him as a big city rapper, but he still managed to defeat Republican incumbent John Faso. He has one of the most moderate voting records in Congress, which may or may not help him in the Democratic primary against moderate Diana Reyna and progressive Anna Maria Archilla, a progressive activist. He has strong views about the possibility that the Supreme Court will overturn Roe v. Wade. Make no mistake, in seeking to overturn nearly 50 years of precedent, the Supreme Court is at once reasserting a social order grounded in patriarchy and male dominance over a woman's body. Delgado is only 45 with a big political future ahead of him. And if the Hochul Delgado team prevails in November, he could be in line at some point to steer the ship of state himself. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News.